Hi, it's Chris McCulloch here from the Bookkeepers Alliance. Um, this morning we were asked a question about uh, the bookkeeping entries required when a vehicle is purchased on a higher purchase or finance lease. Um, so we thought we'd do a quick video um, to show the different ways that you can um, calculate interest and how you would show the entries in the records. So for this example, Ryan has bought a new van on higher purchase. The cash price of the van is £15,000. Um, Ryan pays £2,000 deposit and the remainder is split over five years and he makes payments of £299 per month. So we're going to look at the entries that are required for Ryan and in the absence of the uh, finance agreement, how we would calculate um, the interest payments each each uh, each year. So how much is the interest? First thing that we need to need to do is work out how much Ryan's going to pay in total. So he pays £299 a month for 60 months. So he pays £17,940. But he's also paid that £2,000 deposit. So in total, he's paid £19,940. And the cash price of the van was £15,000. So the interest um, that he will pay over the total term of the agreement is £4,940. So the first thing we need to look at is what are the initial bookkeeping entries. So initially, we have the creation of the fixed asset. So we need to debit the fixed asset, the vehicle's account, for the £15,000 cash price, and then credit this van HP, this liability account for the van for £15,000. And then we need to do the entry for the deposit that he's paid. So we'll debit the van HP liability account £2,000, and credit the bank, assuming that's how he, he paid the deposit for £2,000. <clears throat> Finally, we've we've got each month, um, we have to do this, the entry, we have to debit the um, Van HP liability account for £299 for the monthly payment, and then credit the bank if that's how he makes the payment for each monthly payment. But how do we calculate the interest? The simplest way is we say that he owes £4,940 interest, so we split that straight over the five years, giving a, an interest payment of £988 a year. Now, that's a really simple way of doing it, but it's not realistic because the way that um, finance works is that you tend to pay uh, more of the interest and less of the capital in early payments and less interest and more capital in later payments. So the way that we can um, easily calculate this is a method called um, sum of the digits. So what we do is we say that Ryan's taken the, the finance over five years, so year one plus year two plus year three plus year four plus year five is 15. And we then say that the total interest divided by 15 rounded is £329. So the way that we do this is we, we pile more interest into the earlier years and less interest into the later years. So in year one, we have five fifteenths of the interest, year two, four fifteenths, year three, three fifteenths, and so on. And then it's just a simple way of calculating um, <clears throat> five fifteenths of this 4,940 or 5 times the 329. So 1,647 in the first year, 1,317 in the second year, £988 the third year, and you can see how the interest drops with each year, 659 the fourth year, and 329 in the fifth year. So it gives a, a more realistic uh, idea of how the interest would be split. You could do this on a monthly basis, um, but for most small businesses, uh, a yearly basis is going to be enough. So then that, that, this shows the, the extract of um, the account using a, a running balance for the van 
HP account. So we see the, the initial um, two journals that we did, the purchase of the van for £15,000 and then the deposit for 2000 And you can see that each year, although Ryan makes the same payment of £3,588, the interest reduces, therefore the, the capital that he's paying increases as the years go on, um, given a zero balance at the end. I think this is probably the, the simplest and most realistic way um, for small business owners to calculate interest in the absence of having the actual annual statement for the finance. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click um, like below and subscribe to our channel to get the newest videos first. If you think this video would be of use to a friend, then please feel free to share the link with them. And thanks very much for watching.